In this video, we'll go through how to calculate the duration of net worth for a bank. Here we have a bank whose assets total $2 billion. $400 million of that is in cash with a duration, as you'd expect, of zero years. Loans of $1.6 billion with a duration of 5.4, which is actually pretty long for a bank's loans. And then deposits of $1.8 billion, again with a fairly long duration of four years. And that gives you a, a, a net worth of $200 million, and we're trying to calculate the duration of that net worth. To calculate the duration of their net worth, the first thing we need to do is calculate the duration of their assets. So the duration of assets will equal the amount they have in cash, 400, divided by the total they have in assets of $2 billion, times the duration of cash, which is zero. You really don't need to do this first part because obviously that will uh, be zero. And then you add the rest of the assets, which is $1.6 billion divided by $2 billion. And that portion of the assets has a duration of 5.40 years. When you do that math, you get a duration of 4.32 years. We know the duration of liabilities. So the duration of net worth is going to equal the duration of assets, which is 4.32 years, minus the amount they have in liabilities, 1800000000 divided by the amount they have in assets, $2 billion. That times the duration of liabilities, which is four years. Take that entire amount and multiply it by what we call a leverage, and the leverage of this firm is their total assets divided by their net worth. And when you do all that math, you should get 7.2 years, which is a fairly long duration for this entity. So there's the duration of assets, and there's the duration of net worth. And you do have to know this formula from memory, but this formula is simply the, the uh, duration of assets minus, and we'll subscript the assets so you can tell what that is, minus the dollar amount in liabilities divided by the dollar amount in assets times the duration of liabilities. That entire amount is times leverage, which leverage is the dollar amount in assets divided by the dollar amount in net worth. And that's how we got the duration of net worth. So the duration of net worth equals that formula. It's a fairly straightforward formula and it's pretty easy to memorize because it goes in a logical order here. Now, what happens to this bank's net worth if interest rates were to rise 200 basis points? First, we know that 200 basis points equals 200 divided by 10,000, or 0 0.02. And we also know that the percentage change in net worth will equal minus duration of net worth times the change in interest rates. And this time, the change in interest rates is a rise of 2%. So here we have, so let me, let me put that in the times the change in rates. So the formula we have is, in this case, it's minus 7.2 years times change in interest rates which rose 2% and so you take that percentage change which is minus 14.4% and so net worth started off at $200 times minus 0.144 and that is going to equal minus 28.8. Since net worth started at $200, $200 minus 28.80, the ending net worth would be expected to be $171,200,000. So 171.2 if interest rates were to rise 200 basis points. Or they would lose 28, be expected to lose 28. $0.8 million of their net worth.
the next part of this question asks the que ask if the board had these these limits such that if interest rates were expected to rise 200 basis points they could only lose be expected to lose 10 percent of the net worth or fall 200 basis points again only be expected to lose 10 percent of the net worth 100 basis points be five percent either way whether rising or falling well this bank if interest rates were to rise 200 basis points we know this bank would lose 14.4 percent of the net worth which is much greater than what the board allows if interest rates were to rise one percent this bank would lose minus seven point two times plus point zero one which would be minus seven point two percent which is greater than the board limit if rates fall the bank would be okay because in that case they would actually make money their net worth would actually go up so that's not the issue the issue is this bank is exposed to rising rates and not only are they expose to rising rates but they're expo exposed to rising rates that is greater than what the board allows so this board needs to find a, a, a fire their finance department and they need to uh, change their duration of net worth the duration of net worth is too high 7.20 years versus you can tell from the board limit that the board limit is five years and hopefully you can tell that because the board saying if interest rates rise 100 basis points net worth can only five fall five percent if you put that into this equation up here you can very easily back into that the board is saying the duration of net worth cannot be more than five years if the duration of net worth is too high and to reduce the duration of net worth the bank needs to either reduce the duration of assets which would be difficult to do they'd have to call in loans in some way that would which would upset their customers are they need to increase the duration of liabilities which would mean uh, maybe offer better rates on uh, longer term CDs again would be disrupting operations are as we're going to see in the second part of this question the most logical thing for them to do would be to enter into an interest rate swap and in order to increase the duration of liabilities, they would they would swap from floating rate debt to fixed rate debt, and that's the solution we're going to use in the second part of the problem. But that just shows you um, the first part of this question that they have a problem. We did the measurement part of this of this problem, and the measurement told us that they had too much exposure to the rising interest rates, and and because of that, they're going to need to increase the duration of liabilities by entering into an interest rate swap where they swap from floating to fixed rate debt.